The question of polarity orientation comes up often when installing current transformers, or CTs, by Square D Schneider Electric. In general, CTs are marked on both primary and secondary with H1 and X1 markings embossed on the plastic. Often the embossed markings are hard to see as they're black on black, as shown here. An exception to this is the 2NR and 5NR series CTs with wired secondaries. The primary is marked with an H1 embossed on the donut and the X1 is the white colored secondary wire. Another exception is the round MCT 800 series CTs with the H1 and the X1 very clearly marked. Not much room for error here. Also, the 260R series bus bar CTs have H1 and X1 clearly marked. Now I'm going to move some of these out of the way to do a bit of a demonstration. I'm going to run a wire through this donut CT as is commonly done with donut CTs. This square or rectangular bus bar CT, I'm actually going to run a bus bar through like so, as is often seen in switch gear, motor control centers, and other equipment. The H1 side of the CT, when you locate it, is usually pointed toward the source of current upstream the switchboard, the panel board, the transformer, what have you. The unmarked H2 side points toward the load or downstream direction of current flow. This is true on both the square type CTs and the round. In a given AC cycle, when the H1 side goes positive, the X1 output side will track positive as well. This is particularly important in three phase applications for electronic metering in which all three CT current sensors must be in proper phase orientation regarding each other, the voltage supply, and the electronic instrumentation phase input profile.